What's up guys, it's the Drill Simon Cow Walks here and today we're back with another video. Before we get into this, make sure you drop us a like. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification bell to keep up with all the content dropping. And today, I just want to talk about a topic which has been prominent on the channel. It's got some people upset, some people confused. But I just want to talk about, as you can see in the title, why I focus on punchlines so much when I'm reacting to music. And I've seen multiple comments say, it's not all about wordplay. You focus on wordplay too much. All of that. To me, wordplay means different things to me and you. I know what sense you lot are using it in, but wordplay to me is literally when you're playing around with a word. So using the same word in different forms, that's what wordplay is to me. I have a separate category for that and punchlines are a bit different to me. But the reason I focus on it so much is because the level of difficulty I feel like comes with punchlines. As you lot know by now, I can rap. I'm not a rapper. I'm not an artist. I don't put out songs as myself and claim to be a rapper or these type of things but i can rap some people say it's at a high level that's up for you to decide they get me but i feel like i feel like i can rap a lot better than a lot of the artists that are out there and for me not to be a rapper if you're not doing something that i consider difficult i don't really have as much rating for it and i feel like even from back in the day there's artists people used to tell me that's sick and i listen to their bars i'll be like but you could do the same thing they do there's no level of difficulty to what they're doing there's nothing special about about what they're doing anybody can do that but i feel like punchlines especially to construct a good one is a difficult task you get me so that's why i place so much weight on it like there's certain tracks i hear even if you listen to heady one rubbery bands and he's getting in nina with the copper run son i fell in love with all these rubbery bands i feel like there's certain syllables and certain rhyming schemes that are more difficult than others or that are unique that are rate and gives an extra rating to me same thing with punchlines when i hear a sick punchline i'm gassed because like rah man really switched up the meaning or created a double entendre a double meaning from this in a way that i've never heard before or in a way that sounds sick to me like oh he meant that but he meant that too oh he could have meant that like or even i'm listening to a song that i've heard 500 times by now and i randomly clock another meaning of what he meant like those type of artists to me are special and it's what i grew up listening to from early grime days when my uncle used to record tapes and show me of heat fm sessions and guys like prez t guys like bruiser guys like these are the man that man's rating and you got to remember i'm from mpk yeah we had a lot of talent in the early grime days we had chipmunk we had double s we had vertex we had shocker we had right around the corner was skepta jme prez t boss man the man there we had anime maniacs d slash dan 850 glider young warriors like they used to all be in and around mpk you get me so so i'm seeing a high level of rapper growing up with high standards and seeing them do things that normal people couldn't do or me myself i couldn't do so i've grown up with a certain expectation i feel like if a rapper's doing something everyone can do it's not that great not everyone can do punchlines not everyone can deliver and have the conviction that cb has not everyone can flow the way miz or matt can you get me sometimes why I don't put Miz or Mac as high as some people do is because some of the flows he does do, everybody can do them. And the times he's doing that, he ain't got no punchlines or bars to offset that. You feel me? And the reason I rate PS so much is because he's got literally everything. Listening to Dennis the Menace the other day for the first time, I realized, yeah, he can make hooks. He just needs to do more of that. Because in the drill scene, a lot of people struggle to make songs. Songs are not easy to make at all. Like a good hook, two verse three verses obviously in drill we don't really do bridges but there's a level of difficulty in making a song which makes me put more respect on our artists and really and truly we ain't gonna have that much success with a freestyle unless you're stormzy or you get lucky like it's very rare they're anomalies to get certain success with just freestyles you feel me so again yeah my focus on punchlines is because of the level of difficulty that comes with a good punchline you feel me and especially if you're not expecting it it's like in boxing the punches you don't see hurt the most you feel me so that's my take on it that's why i focus so much on punchlines and i will continue to you're gonna see certain reactions where i put more respect on artists like lats and 
Cavelli and certain things for their delivery, for their presence. Like, Lat's mad about bars. He went in. Like, I literally only think he had sloppy delivery on one bar out of six minutes. Like, that was dope. So, yeah, I'm always going to judge things at the level of difficulty. And I don't think talking about stabbing man and how many ops got chinged is difficult. Anybody can talk about that. A lot of these rappers lie as well. So, it doesn't really make any difference to me. You feel me? But, yeah, man, I hope that clears it up. Feel free to debate man in the comments. If you feel man's wrong, go ahead, man. I'm listening. Just like when I did the video about US artists and them not promoting on their social medias, some people debating my points. I'm happy for you to do that, man. Just, um, yeah, drop that in the comments below. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Make sure you're hitting that bell notification button to keep up with all the content dropping. Share that up on your social media. Get all your friends to subscribe. I've been Walks, I'm out. Peace and love.